Karin Swanson continues our coverage from the backyard patio. Karin? Hi there, Gary. Yeah, it's cold out here, but I want everyone to know that I am playing it safe this evening. I'm dressed from head to toe in multiple layers of clothing, so, and I'm only a couple of steps from the door, but you know, we do have some cold wind chills on tap for tonight, and with wind chills this low, the risk of frostbite and hypothermia do skyrocket, and if you look at the table, we're going to have low temperatures tonight in the lower teens below zero, and winds of up to about 15 miles per hour. Now, what that means for us is that frostbite can set in on an exposed skin in about 30 minutes or less. Symptoms of frostbite include numbness in your fingers and your feet to pale waxy skin and doctors at Meritor Hospital say the best way to prevent frostbite is to dress in layers. When your body is starting to defend itself against cold, it'll start to clamp down all the little arteries and the exposed body parts. So those are the areas that you're going to start feeling things first. So you want to make sure those are covered. And with hypothermia, which is when the body's temperature drops extremely low, symptoms of that include slurred speech, confusion, and also lack of coordination. Some of the more serious symptoms are shallow breathing and a progressive loss of consciousness. So definitely don't want anything like that to be happening tonight. Another tip from doctors is dress in layers and avoid cotton. You don't want to wear cotton because you want to wear some sort of fabric that's going to wick that moisture away from your body so that you have a better chance of staying warm. Very important information. I'm sure people think that they've heard it all before, but sometimes we need those good reminders. Yeah, she wants you to yeah, stop talking so she can come inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Karen. Get inside. There she goes. Yeah. <laughs>